everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really exciting new release to review for you. It's a new version of My Way from Armani and it's called My Way Nectar. I have it here, it just arrived, and I'm gonna compare it to the others in the range. <laughs> If you're new here, then hello and welcome. I'm all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos like this going through new releases, whole ranges, perfume notes. So do check them out. And of course I have my blog, sokilondon.com that has articles on all the main perfume ranges, including discontinued versions in them. And you can also on there get my super concentrated fragrances and soy wax candles, everything on sokilondon.com. As always, I'll put the links in the description box where you can get all the perfumes I talk about. I don't think this is out everywhere yet, but I'll update it when it is. And if you're a regular viewer, do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up. That really helps me. So the Emporio Armani, sorry, Giorgio Armani My Way range has been one of my sort of top 10 recommendations since it came out. The original My Way that I have here is a white floral perfume, the main note being tuberose. Now a lot of the perfumes that are released at the moment have a huge amount of jasmine in and this does have a bit of jasmine in but the main note is tuberose which I really like because um, it's not as common, it's a little bit different and it was used in a perfume by Parlez-moi de Parfum called Gardens of India, which is no longer sold here in the UK. And I really love that perfume. And um, it smelled like being in a tropical garden, like lush tuberose. And um, I do have a video on the history of tuberose as a perfume note. And it really gives off like a really beautiful green floral smell. And it was actually like banned for young people in, I think it was in France, in the court of uh, one of the Louis, for young people to even walk around the tuberose gardens because it was thought it would like corrupt them. So it's quite a sensual, I wouldn't say it's sexy, but it's, it, I really love it. It's a great fragrance note and it really has good lasting power as well. I also really liked the marketing campaign because it was all about traveling. If you don't know, I am a huge travel wanderlust geek and I'm trying to go to every country in the world. I have my other channel, Soki Travels, where I document my different visits, to different countries. I'm on about 70 now, I think, or getting close to 70 countries. And the, it was very much about exploring different worlds, very much like female empowerment. Um, it was nothing about sort of wearing it to attract a man, which I thought was cool. It also has orange blossom in, which is another note I love and a bit of a citrus opening. And I do really recommend the original My Way. It's a great fragrance. And I love this bottle as well, this cap in particular. They then released an intense version of it, which really is what it says on the tin, a more intense, slightly deeper version. It had a bitter orange rather than a sort of citrus top note. And it also um, had a bit more more of a vanilla -y undertone. So it was a little bit more autumnal winter. They also released one called My Way Parfum, which had an iris note in it. I think this was last year or the year before when loads of fragrance houses were releasing iris perfumes. Iris is slightly powdery, deep, warm. It didn't have the sort of freshness of the original, but both the Intense and the Le Parfum are great perfumes. They weren't my personal favorites because I'm not into iris. Um, I love the original, but they are good fragrances. They then released this one called My Way Floral, which is all about orange blossom. It's really orangey, fresh, great for the summertime, really refreshing. Um, I tend to turn to this quite a bit in the summer when it's quite hot and you want something that lifts you and refreshes you. Reminds me quite a lot of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Forever, which is one of my favorite summer perfumes as well, all about the orange blossom. So I do recommend this, though it's not as heavy as like not as good for lasting as the others. It's definitely a lighter summer perfume. It is an Eau de Parfum, but that really does mean anything. Like you can get Eau de Parfums that perform like Eau de Toilettes. And this, this isn't quite like an Eau de Toilette, but it's definitely not as strong as the other uh, My Ways that went before it. So now we come on to the new My Way Nectar. So first impressions when I saw the bottle, I love this pink lid. I already love the lid, but I love that they've gone for this sort of millennial pink, blush pink, lid. It's like a little sort of stone. I absolutely love that. I used to collect little things like that when I was a kid. For some reason, I just always have loved these sort of acrylic-y lids. It's what I've made my Empress lid out.
out of and um, yeah I just love the feel of them. So I'm loving this pink sort of pink theme it's super cute and when I tried this you guys I have to say this was love at first sniff. I think this is my favorite new release in 2024 so far. To be fair it is only the beginning of February but so far this will definitely be in my top 2024 perfumes because the main note here is pear. Now if you have been watching me for a while you'll know how much I love pear and perfumes. A perfume that I wear all the time is Irresistible Givenchy which has pear as a main note with rose. Of course Jimmy Choo is one of my favorite perfumes which has a really good fresh pear top note. And this one, when you spray it, you immediately get this thirst quenching, juicy, fruity pear. This is sweeter than the others and obviously fr much fruitier than the others. It's definitely very different to the previous My Ways. It's then followed by some orange blossom and that signature tuberose with a bit of jasmine. The tuberose is definitely not as prominent as I thought it might be, being the signature scent in the original My Way. And the ingredients say that it has like cedarwood in the base, vanilla in the base, I don't get any of those notes. What I get is pear, like 70% pear and then 30% white floral. So I love this. It, it just, the moment I sprayed it, I was a completely in love. I immediately went and showed my boyfriend, Stephen, and he immediately said, that's so you, that smells like you. Um, and he really liked it. My only complaint about this is the strength and the lasting power. So I came yesterday after about two hours, I really couldn't smell it on me. And I was going and topping it up and I topped it up three or four times throughout the day. So I think this is gonna be marketed as a summer perfume. And if you love like fruity, refreshing summer perfumes, like the Escada fragrances, that type of thing, I think you'll definitely like this. I just really wish it was stronger, like more concentrated. Again, it says it's an eau de parfum, but really an eau de parfum um, can have a really big range of fragrance oil concentration in it. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is really concentrated. It's so, so gorgeous. If you like the same perfumes as me, like Jimmy Choo, like Irresistible Givenchy, you'll definitely like this. Definitely a safe blind buy if you like pear. I think this will do well because, um, especially in the summertime, and it's pretty versatile. You could definitely wear this to the office, on holiday, shopping, you could wear this anywhere. I probably wouldn't wear it in the evening just because it's just not strong enough. And of course, it layers really well with the other My Way. So if you have the other My Way original, you get all that tuberose and white floral, and then you can add that pear to it. Um, so they blend really well together and it makes it much more stronger though of course the tuberose does dominate over the pear and um, especially as it settles it also of course works well with the floral because it's that orange blossom and this is a little bit more fruity because of the orange and the orange blossom um, but again the pear is very much there at first but once you layer it um, after a while the tuberose the white florals will start to become the dominant scent over the pear just because they're a middle note, not a top note like pear is. So I'm actually slightly annoyed about this. So when it comes to my fragrance range, I have a plan for 12 fragrances and one of them was gonna be tuberose and pear. And I was thinking of releasing it maybe like 2025. So I'm kind of annoyed that my Ray have got there before me. This happened also with Dolce Gabbana Devotion. I had a vanilla orange one in the plan as well and then they released that. But I have to say, if I were to make it, I would make it much stronger, like much better for lasting. And I would probably have more tuberose in here as well. Um, so it wasn't just like a pair, but I definitely love this. I will be using this 30 mil up very quickly. Um, this is definitely gonna be one that I will keep turning to and wearing again and again, and will be inspiration behind a pear themed perfume that I will make in the future. Do let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a pear perfume from me, um, what would you combine the pear with? Let me know in the comments. My next perfume, which should be out this year, that I'm working on now, um, I'm decided that that is gonna be like original Gucci Flora that was discontinued so an Osmanthus perfume so watch out for that coming later this year but yeah I'm loving this definitely Soki approved 
Um, the scent is 10 out of 10. Lasting power longevity though is like a five out of 10, but I guess you can't win them all. So yeah, I'll put all the links in the description box to everything I talked about there, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. Have you tried it yet? Which is your favorite version of my rate? Do let me know in the comments because I do read all your comments. But that's it, guys. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.